everybody and welcome to adobe live my name's flynn and i'm here with bill hope hey bill how you doing good good how you doing flynn really good thank you it's good to have you back we've got another interactive drawing session happening today um, where bill will be showing his amazing skills um, and also taking your suggestions on what we're going to draw i'm going to let bill explain um, how it works today um, but it's great to see a lot of you in chat. Uh, there was just a question from Mishka before about how to rewatch a video um, in case chat hasn't sorted it out yet for you. Um, you can just jump back to behance.net slash live and you'll see the replay available straight away. So if you ever miss a video, um, it's always available on replay over at behance.net slash live. Hey, R&B, Festus, um, Chris, great to see you. D is in the house, Kim, um, Keith, good to have you still here editing photos, that's cool. You put us on on the side, second, triple screen, whatever you're doing um, as you're waking up or settling down for your day, depending on what time it is in the world. Uh, for us, for, for Bill and I, it is uh, Sydney. It's cold. Um, I've got my Ugg boots on. It's that cold in Australia, believe it or not. Um, I think Bill might as well. Uh, I being definitely in the blue do have my boots on, yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, enough, of, enough of that. Um, Bill, so do you want to explain kind of the topic and the title for today? Yeah, absolutely. So very keen to be back. Lovely to see everyone in the chat. Um, uh, really excited to, to do this one for the next uh, hour or so. So we've been doing a couple uh, interactive drawing sessions where basically I'm just at Photoshop drawing away and people are um, writing in with suggestions for, for what I could be drawing. So last week we did uh, Monsters, which was awesome. There was lots of really fun suggestions and um, some great interaction um, with people uh, just a shout out to seven eighths creations on instagram who like took a bunch of the drawings that we did and reworked them and animated some of them it was really cool oh wow um, oh i didn't see that cool yeah 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 i'll have to send you a link to them they were, they were really fun awesome. um so i'm really keen to hear your suggestions for what i should draw and i'll try and keep up with as many as possible and if you guys are drawing along as well that's that's awesome too so it's sort of a chilled out drawing session um, uh, so yeah, last, last time we did monsters and this time, uh, we're doing, uh, the theme I've called everything is alive and it's basically objects that have come to life. So whatever it is. So I think Flynn suggested a saucepan with legs that's having a rough morning or, uh, I'm not sure what there is. So I've, uh, I'm doing sort of, uh, coffee cups that are alive, uh, books, beds, shoes, any objects that's, uh, that's around, um, and we're going to sort of be making character out of them. I think the, uh, official term is anthropomorphizing so we're anthropomorphizing this morning i'm glad you didn't um, make me spell that for the title or anything i could just do everything is alive <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate good. it you know me well all right should we jump over to your screen and screen and uh, get started yeah yeah let's get into it all right i like this cool. um i like this coffee cup guy down the bottom left <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I sort of, uh, I, I do this, uh, well, actually, um, story we've been over many times is uh, um, um, how we first met Flynn is at a, a morning talk series, um, and I would I would draw live at this, this these sessions, and um, it was always like this very early in the morning, so um, it was my go to <laughs> yeah. character was a grumpy coffee cup in the morning. So that's a, that's a little idea of what, what kind of thing we're going to be uh, heading towards, um, and I thought I would start on a, a, another drawing this morning, which is kind of based on where I originally got this idea, which is from a, um, I think it's a, um, uh, it's a, it might be a French cartoon from, uh, I wrote it down, 1908, by a guy called Winsor McKay called Little Nemo in Slumberland. And it's about um, some kids whose uh, who's bed comes alive and, and sort of takes them on adventures around. So I thought I would start with drawing a, uh, a, a bed that's come to life and, it, and is running around. Um, I've ended up doing a couple of these kind of drawings in the past. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just one of those themes I keep returning to. Um, I'm not, not quite sure where that comes from. I'll actually show you, you guys. Um, I can pull up my Instagram here. And um, this is the animation of a, of, a, of a running sofa I did. So again, a bit of a, bit of a recurring theme. I think I once saw a video of a, of a guy who had... Um, reworked his armchair though so he could he could drive it around the streets and um i think the oh, idea right. of being sort of get around town um um uh while while staying in bed or in an armchair is is, is very appealing mm. yeah so i mean with these kind of drawings it, it's sort of you're, you're sort of doing a bit of still life drawing and sort of drawing the objects and then and you're sort of adding the the character in so uh, i'm always trying to sort of think about like what's the um, um, inspiration for either side of that, that combination. So 
with, with something like this, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just doing a sort of standard four poster bed. Um, and then uh, I've got this kind of um, sort of very sprightly happy run that it's going. Um, and so I'm kind of basing this movement off um, my, my family dog, Oscar, who's a schnoodle and is very, very cute and, and sort of does that sort of um, sort of bunny slash puppy style run where sort of all legs are in the air at all times. So right. I'm going for a bit, of, a bit of that kind of feeling. Just top speed, um, but like no dexterity. Oh yeah. No, 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 completely clueless. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very, very cute. So I've got sort of the back legs way up in the air like this. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm just sketching away directly into, into Photoshop. I'm using um, uh, one of the Kyle T. Webster uh, ink pens, which is, is one of my favorite ones for doing this kind of sketching it's just really loose and scratchy um and yeah i really love the feel of it so we're just working out those little little leggies there might have um so we've got this person who i'm not quite sure is going to be enthusiastic about this or terrified I, I might try and go for some sort of combination of both so i've got some blankets going all over the place So if anyone has any suggestions for what should come next, any ideas, please feel free to drop them in the chat. I've got a chat window open here, so I'll try and follow along um, as much as possible. And um, we can uh, we can help with that as well. So you can, we okay, can um, awesome. yeah, we can do that. We can help. That'd be great. That'll give me something to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're wait for it. Jeez. I know. I just realized, I, I didn't realize that the, the, the things that we've done together, like um, Creator Mornings and this, are, Got you out of bed so early. <laughs> That's right. so funny right. that they're both the in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our little character flying away in this, this bed. And I'm just got a little bit of shading underneath there. Okie dokie. Well, that's looking kind of fun. That's I'm awesome. happy with that as a, as a warm-up drawing. <laughs> um, all right, I am, I am open for commissions, as they say on Instagram. All right, here Let we go. Um, so there was Tarzan bear off the top rope. Tarzan bear off the top rope. So it's <laughs> a bear, but it's Tarzan as well? I feel like it's tar I, I, I Tarzan bear it. off the top rope would be like a wrestling, like off the top rope's like a wrestling thing. Um, okay, we had a bit of wrestling last time. We had a bit of that last well. time. Uh, there was Kung Fu Worm. <laughs> worm. I, I like that. Let me let me try. Um, um, I've, I've been doing a bit of gardening um, uh, at the, my, my new place in the mountains, um, and um, I've, I've disrupted a, a, a number of worms so far. So maybe I'll do some sort of worm's revenge on a gardener kind of, <laughs> kind of thing. Reminds me, did you ever play that video game Worms? Um, oh yeah, Flynn, yeah, you, that's exactly what I was thinking about. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a big fun, like for ridiculous, me. ridiculous game. It was really good. I played way too much of that in my my youth. Mm. I don't remember exactly what they look like, but it's something along these lines. So I've got a worm here, and maybe we could have some. Um, well, I'll draw myself um, getting KO'd by this worm um, um, for, for, for disrupting <laughs> its serenity under the ground. Oh, poor little worms. Yeah. Now they, they have their, their revenge by illustration. What are you doing with, with the garden? Like, because you've moved into the new place, is it? like ready to go or do you, do you have a lot of work that you need to do? What's um, it's, it's pretty ready. It's pretty ready to go, which is, is well suited to me. I'm pretty DIY clueless. Um, mm. uh, so um, uh, I'm, I'm doing sort of like tokenistic bits and pieces. So I built a little uh, uh, garden bed last weekend, which was a bit of a bit of an achievement for me, which is exciting. Congratulations. Um, and Feels good. I, 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 I picked a lemon from the lemon tree this morning and juiced a lemon for, for a, a, a hot lemon and honey. Wow. Um, so awesome. I don't know, I'm sort of already harvesting my own crops. So um, we're mainly planting flowers and stuff right now. Um, all right, here's my shovel. 
flying off into the distance. Alright, I think that needs a little bit of gravity underneath. Maybe we'll get some grass. Grass is always good for having some sort of debris show a little bit of movement. I think it might be necessary to have a little Batman uh, call out, just so we we <laughs> all know what's going on. Yeah. All right. Good. Ready for more? You look ready for more. Sure, sure. Well, I'm I'm, I'm happy to. Well, let, let me know what's there. If not, I can I can circle back around and try out our Tarzan off the top ropes. <laughs> there was a um a pair of Canadian Inuit Inu, Inu sharks. I think you need the vi the visual reference for this one. <laughs> Um, you were sharks? Yeah, like I I N U S H U K S. Okay. Like, uh, like I mean, rock they... stacked. They're like rocks stacked up together. Um, there was also a lot easier one that you might know would be a computer mouse, like a computer mouse that is alive. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, maybe we can try something like that. Um, um, I'm trying to think what's a, um, I mean, we could have like a, a old wheelie mouse with the ears. years fooling around with uh, different wireless mouses and I've finally bought myself a sort of five dollar wired mouse from uh, um, Big W and oh, it's yeah. all I've ever wanted. It's all I needed. I didn't need really? all this fancy technology. Yeah, yeah, it's just working out great for me. <laughs> um, maybe, so maybe we can have a, a little mouse here on um, juice.com, which I imagine is what Mice would do on the internet if they could. Cheese.com. <laughs> I'm still interested in investigating these Inuit sharks. I gotta, I gotta see if I can. So would it be like a? Uh, I'm not quite sure what the correct terminology, but what used to be referred to as a, an Eskimo. Like, would it be like an Eskimo my, shark? Um, no, my um, it's not a shark. I, my pronunciation has let us down once more. Um, it's oh, in good. in uk shark is how I've been corrected, um, which is good. Thank you, I think, either Johanna or Festus for, for filling that in. They're basically just rocks, like, stacked up on top of each other. And they kind of, oh. look, like, they kind of look like um, statues, like, um, a little bit like the, um, like, they don't look like the Easter Island statues or anything, but they're, like, looking, yeah, out, yeah, yeah, looking, yeah, yeah. Out, looking out, like, you know, across the land or... I think, I think uh, my, um, my dad went to... Um, Iceland a couple uh, years ago and there's this beach where um, people come and they build piles of rocks um, and take photos of them on the beach. It's just like this thing that people do. Right. Um, but it's become such a sort of Instagram sensation that um, um, people have been using up too many rocks and they're sort of disturbing the natural path of the beach because they're all building these, these piles of rocks. Um, so they have these um, they have these city employees whose job is to just walk around and push over people's piles of rocks. <laughs> so I want, I want job that job. That's an I amazing know, it so job. Satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it would be it, it's it's like if your job was to go just like kick people's sandcastles. Sandcastles over. Like that. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. This is, this is my official role. It's it's the, it's the law. I can't I can't help it. Amazing. So maybe I'll have. Uh, um, that's amazing. Maybe we can have our pile of rocks with it, with it, with it, a, a, a sheet coming down. Inuk shucks are kind of like stone transformers. <laughs> 
and Transformers. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm still gonna have to look up a reference later on. Hmm. A sprouting battle its its way out of the ground. A sprouting battling its way out of the ground. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm finally sort of uh, got onto the, the chat and uh, Chloe Bright. Okay, I like that idea. A sprout battling its way out of the ground. Let me see That's what cool. I can do with that. Um, oh, that's a tricky one. Maybe I might need to... I should mention, um, I haven't mentioned, if you're watching on, on YouTube, um, jump over to um, behance.net slash live if you want to join our chat. That's the chat that we're monitoring today, so you can jump in with your suggestions while we're drawing along with Bill Hope. Everything is alive. Or an, an <laughs> morph, and and can you say it? Amorphic? Am, amorphic? Um, uh... Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. Yeah, yeah. There we go. This is giving me Pokemon vibes. How are you doing, chat? Everyone doing okay? Is it midweek for you guys? It's midweek for us. It's Wednesday. Might be Tuesday where you are. It's nice to be Wednesday, oh. halfway point. There are batteries, with bayonets charging a flashlight. Sorry, I'm just reading Festus's comment here. A pair of batteries with bayonets charging a flashlight. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Oh, double, God. double wow. meaning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 deep. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> charging a flashlight. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I got it. I got it. How's that little sprout looking? I don't know. I'm 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 quite fond of this one. Yeah, that's quite cool. Cute. Got a little classic sweat beads coming out. A bit of. Uh... <laughs> but, okay. Cool. Cool. Are you going to attempt the the batteries with bayonets? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's um, batteries with bayonets. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I love it. This, uh, Good suggestions, job, guys. Job one. I should. Uh, I, I won't go into it too much, but I had a uh, a commission wants to draw an uh, an attractive light bulb. It was meant to be a a, a light bulb, which was sort of like a. Um, uh, an alluring at a bar light bulb. Um, it was right. probably one of the most challenging commissions I've ever had. It was very, very <laughs> odd. Light bulbs, not naturally human shaped, quite, quite difficult, difficult to make look attractive. <laughs> yeah. A uh, angry battery, though. I think that's that's maybe okay. Mm -hmm. um, kind of positive? wanted to have. <laughs> very good, Flynn. Very good. <laughs> Uh, I'll give them a little, they can be sort of like red coat um, batteries. If anybody had, in the chat has sort of just general illustration questions or Photoshop questions, um, I'm also very much up for uh, any anything along those lines. So we can we can we can defer from the general silliness and talk about something serious as well if if so desired. But I'm we can, I'm we very happy to in my we can get deep, yeah. <laughs> It's still um, charging. A... Okay. Oh, I was just going to say, it's still, still Tuesday for D. All oh, right, where are you, D? Europe, I think. Am I remembering that correctly? Steve is bursting with ideas. Good to hear there. Sorry, gun flinging panda turn up there. Oh yeah, I saw that. I don't see the Zack Snyder movie. Um, it had like a kung fu, like a samurai panda in it. Um, what was it? It was like Kung Fu Panda, the animated thing. No, it wasn't Kung Fu Panda, which is fantastic. Um, um, 
Oh, it was called Sucker Punch. Did you ever see that movie Sucker Punch by Zack Snyder? Uh, you know what? I think it's one of those movies where I watched it was like playing in the background of something more interesting happening. And I don't think I, I think gave that's it. That's absolutely like, the way to do it. Oh, oh it okay. was it was it was terrible. Um, <laughs> but it was it was it was kinda like it was like someone gave um, the art department like the freedom to do every idea that they ever wanted to do, and then no one bothered to sort of follow through with any sort of like storyline or direction or All anything right. like that. So it was very cool to look at, but just complete nonsense. Yeah, that's um, my that's my memory of it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it had a very scary looking panda in it. Mm. Okay, there we go. Um, There's a great question um, to um, slightly change the tone just for a sec. Um, yeah. How do you how do you come up with your concepts? From I can't with my concepts. Um, that's a good question. It's very hard to answer, really, because it's sort of just something that's happening a bit more at a subconscious level. I mean, when it comes to sort of artworks or bigger compositions that I work on, um, um, it, it's a much longer process of sort of doing research and finding inspiration over a period of time. With, with quick sketches like this, I think, I think I have a bit of a sort of like mental library of, of um, kind of just... Um, what a, uh, a running or a charging person looks like and what the reactions might be. My, my, my partner says I, I can't stop doing the, uh, the facial, like uh, I'm always doing the expression of the thing that I'm drawing. So I think there's a bit of sort of like, I don't know, almost like character playing, playing through the characters themselves. <laughs> In terms of coming up with, with, a, with a concept, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think it's just a matter of repetition. I've done a lot of live drawing work um, in the past, so the idea of trying to sort of take a concept and 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 uh, think of it is um, on the go is, is something I've had quite a lot of practice doing. Um, I think that the trick with, with this kind of thing is sort of like the quick turnaround of ideas is to firstly just really not overthink it. So the first thing that pops into my head is usually the, the thing that I go with. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing is, is sort of um, fostering an ability to uh, think and draw at the same time. And I think that probably comes with practice of just drawing a lot. So it's, it, it's not something I have to have 100% of my concentration on. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a, a lot of it comes through drawing and listening to podcasts and things like that, where I'm sort of thinking of one concept and drawing another thing. So when I'm trying to sort of keep an eye on the chat and um, think of the next concept while working on the concept that I'm working on, um, it's kind of having my brain work at those two different levels of one's draw, one mm -hmm. section of the brain's drawing, one section's sort of thinking of the next thing. So. I think, I think that's, that's a very particular skill to have. I think that 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 would take a very long time to to develop for us mortals because that yeah that's like a very difficult thing to do. Like I often find when I need to concentrate, I have to like cut out all like I listen to podcasts all the time and watch streams mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I have to turn everything off and just sit in silence. And sometimes, sure, sure. like like your partner sort of said, your face will sort of be frozen on the thing you're animating. My face is just my, my wife calls it grumpy face, and it's just right. whenever I'm concentrating because I'm like. Just trying to focus a lot. Um, yeah, sitting yeah, in the dark, yeah. sitting in the dark, staring at my computer monitor. <laughs> um, okay, okay. What's uh, another one we could do? A MacBook Air floating away out of reach. It's nice, Festus. Um, um, there was something about. Uh, I think I'm missing the um, uh, the, uh, the comment thread. There's something about a Barbie and a flamethrower. Um, Yep. So there was a, a prawn with a flamethrower roasting a Barbie. So uh, Australian. A flamethrower roasting a Barbie. I don't entirely know what I don't really know what a flamethrower looks like unless you're sort of talking um, um, the the Elon Musk one. Maybe uh, I will do a um, a rough approximation of um, is it Ridley, um, the main character from Alien? Ridley. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she has a flamethrower, doesn't she? She does, I believe. Spoilers okay. at the end. Oh, sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> you haven't seen Aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if it came out forty years ago, yeah, yeah, you've missed the spoiler cutoff. <laughs> there's aliens in it. Um, spoiler alert. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of um, because Behance chat because there's a lot of suggestions. There's been quite a few that have buried, so I might um, I might curate and pick the next one for us. Sure, um, sure. Feel free to pull them out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm glazing everyone's. I'm, I'm just sort of trying oh, to get just, as much in there as I can. Chat just kind of bur it just buries it a little bit, but we're collecting we're collecting a whole bunch over here. Um, oh, cool. 
thanks to Joanna for all her amazing help in the chat, as always. Yeah, Very thanks, much Joanna. Appreciated. Um, all right, I've got my rough approximation of Ridley there, and maybe, uh, gosh, I don't know if it's possible. Um, I was going to try and get like a, um, um, the alien, it doesn't have eyes, does it? Just trying to remember the actual alien character. Oh, yeah. It's really funny. Does that that must happen quite a bit? You're sort of just thinking, like, do they have eyes? Are they like sunken in eyes? Yeah, they, yeah. I can't they look funny with really googly eyes. Yeah. It's been a while since I watched Alien, so I apologize to all the HR Geiger enthusiasts out there that, that I'm disappointing. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like they have eyes. I'm just cheating a little okay. bit here. Cool, all good. Anyway, so I've tried to go for a alien with a barbecue head with some, some <laughs> snags on top, um, getting getting flamethrowered. This is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Hit me with another one, Flynn. Um, so uh, I think this one might float your boat. Um, a stand mixer, like a mixer, um, getting dizzy yep. from um, from beating batter too fast. Stand mixer getting dizzy. Okay. Um, uh, stand mixer here. Okay, this is my best. I'm I'm dizzy face. I'm going to go for a sort of maybe slightly slightly nauseous. I, I bought um, my partner a, a stand mixer for, for Christmas, and I don't know if you've tried shopping for stand mixers, but they are ungodly expensive. Um, um, so I, I, I didn't go for the full kitchen made, super, super fancy stand mm. mixer, but I got a, a reasonable one, but it's, it sort of, it, it wobbles quite a lot while it, while it, while it, while it mixes. Oh, so right, I yeah. imagine if it, if it was alive, it would be feeling a, a, a little under the weather sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing how expensive that sort of stuff can get. Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know, something to aspire towards uh, having a fancy red stand mixer one day. <laughs> one day, a boy can dream. Um, there was a yeah. question Ellie asked as well. What um, is what brush texture setting do you have there that you're using? Brush texture setting? That's a great question. I have no idea. Um, let me go over to my brushes and have a little look. Um, okay, so if I go to texture, I don't know if you want to, basically, um, if you get the, I know we've talked about it a thousand times before, but the, the Kyle T. Webster um, uh, Mega Brush Pack from Adobe mm -hmm. has amazing brushes in it, and this is from the Ink Pack, um, which is free on online if you have uh, a um, subscription. Um, and if I go to the texture settings here, it looks like the scale's down, the brightness is in the middle, and the contrast is up. Mm -hmm. That's all I can all I can say. Um, sorry, this is this is a preset brush, so I haven't made this one. So um, I'm always amazed how complex you can get with with the the, the texture details on the brushes. Yeah, I don't do you ever change have... the settings very much, or do you usually leave them um, just as the creator, like someone like Kyle has made them? I, every once in a while, I, I will with with something like um, a brush. Like if if you're if, if you've got a brush that is like something that does like leaves or rocks or some sort of texture where it's it's doing quite a bit of the drawing for you. Often I'll want to adjust that to sort of like mm. change the intensity of something like that. But with this one, that's a straightforward drawing brush. Mm. Um, I imagine he's tweaked it pretty well. So, I mean, I can go into it and mess around with it, but I kind of leave those ones alone. I, I imagine he knows better than I do as mm. to how it works. Yeah. 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 And we were corrected. Uh, it's Ripley. Um, the, deck, the director was Ridley Scott, <laughs> so that's why we're thinking Ridley. So. Ridley, not Ripley. Okay, okay. Quite Real right. Place. Thank All you, good. Chris. That is All correct. Good. You are correct. Cool. All right. So I'm seeing a bit of chat about silver skin. Silver. Sorry, I can't talk some more. Silver sun pickups from um, a bit of the uh, sucker punch chat going on. Mm. Um, <laughs> don't buy this mix up. Well, thank you, RB. Um, all right, any other suggestions for you? Uh, a sponge foaming at the mouth. Sponge foaming at the mouth. I kind of want to draw um, SpongeBob SquarePants as that kind of comes to mind first, but um, I don't know about the... Uh, let, let, me, let me try my... It'll, it'll be a square sponge. 
Um, um, maybe it can be a sponge with, um, as a illustrator, who I'm going to forget, uh, Tinder Smits, who's represented by the same agent as, as I am, did a great series called Best Friends, where he did sort of like, um, I don't know, like mustard and tomato sauce, and they would be, they were actually kind of like these sort of drawings, like anthropomorphized. Um, um, so it would be a bottle of tomato sauce with um, a uh, bottle of mustard. So maybe if we did um, uh, a sponge and some, some dishwashing liquid um, <laughs> as best friends. Um. Timber Smits, um, he's an Australian as well, isn't he? Like over in the UK? I remember him, I remember his work from... Yeah, I, I don't know him very well, but yeah, I think he is a, a, an Australian guy. I think he was one of the early people at um, Jackie Winter. But he's he's fantastic. If you want to see someone who's like got a, uh, a really good mix of someone who's like design work is super on point, but is a great illustrator as well. There's not that many people who like really cross over those two things. But he's he's fantastic with his stuff, really really good. And he has it. I think he does a lot of really good typography stuff as well. Mm. Are we going to say fun? I was going to say if I if I'm remembering correctly, I think it might have been Timber Smith that has like a very interesting story about um, being out in like the London underground and uh, somebody getting stabbed, and it may have been him. I'm pretty sure. Oh Jesus! Okay. Wow. I'm pretty, I'm okay. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's like well, saved someone's life and then got like stabbed for it or something crazy like that. Like, oh my I'm, God, pretty, wow. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, it's a story from back in the I day. I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway, he's fine, everybody. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, he's totally fine. Yeah, but uh, yeah, bad day for sure. Um, yeah. I hope I've yeah. got that story right because we're streaming. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Best buddies. <laughs> Best friends. I love it. Cool, okay. And um, what else have we got coming up? I think um, Marco's inspired maybe by what he can see. Is that a webcam on a flex mount watching TV? Uh, a webcam on a flex mount watching TV. What is a flex mount? Is it one of those sort of like um, bubbly ones that you can move around? I, yeah, I assume so. Like a flex mount, like maybe like a, like a gorilla grip kind of thing is what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah. Or something yeah. that will kind of like attach to anything. That's what I see. I just double checked my um, my crazy story to make sure it was true. And yeah, it is true. Oh gosh. Okay. Well. Glad you're doing okay, Timber Smiths. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Just a story I, I remember hearing. Yeah, I'm really enjoying um, doing these. I think. Um, doing a sort of drawing challenge kind of like this where I've just got a theme and I'm trying to come up with drawings. Um, for, for anyone sort of uh, sort of struggling to come up with ideas for drawing or, or having any kind of um, uh, artistic block, these kind of exercises can seem sort of arbitrary of, of just think of a, think of, I don't know, like draw 20 different kinds of candles or something like that mm. uh, are kind of great in that you sort of like, max out all the ideas you would have initially had and you end up going to some really weird places after a while um, through sort of just like wearing your own sort of creative filter down by doing this kind of stuff. So I think I think there is a, um, it, it's a really worthwhile tool for anyone um, getting into drawing. Um, and it's fun, I'm, I'm enjoying these. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Um, and what is, this question usually comes up in chat but hasn't come up yet today, but what are you using? Are you using a uh, Wacom or using a stylus? Uh, yeah, using a stylus. So I'm, I'm working on a, uh, a Wacom tablet and um, it's a 22 HD for uh, anyone after the details. Um, but yes, it's one of their Cintiq tablets, so drawing on the, on the screen. And um, um, 
before I got uh, a tablet like this, I, I, um, um, I went to a talk and someone was talking about like whether you should invest in um, a, a Cintiq or a drawing tablet like that. And they said basically like the time it will save you with drawing, you will make your money back. Um, right. And um, that's very much been the case for me. It's sped up my processor a whole lot. So it's been, it's been great. Um, okay, just checking out the, uh, the, the the chat. Mallory Durek's asking if we're all down under. Um, Flynn and I are, but um, I think there's people from all over the place mm -hmm. um, in the chat. Um, any other good suggestions that you've come across, Flynn? Yep. Um, so a newspaper coming to life out of the bottom of a bird cage. <laughs> it's like it's waking up from a horrible dream. <laughs> um, Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm willing. Oh, let's, let's see. Um, I mean, the, 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 the purpose of the, the newspaper is sort of to, to collect bird droppings, right? Presumably. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, not for the yeah. bird to read. Dee's got a good a good question, so we can take a question as we're mm -hmm. going along. Um, yeah. The UK stream today, we're talking about diet and meditation. It was interesting to hear how artists balance being stuck at a desk and making sure they take breaks away from that. So what do you do to look after oh. yourself, especially when you have a lot of work? Great right, question. right. That, that is, um, that's a very good question. Yeah. Um, in terms of diet, um, I, I think uh, me, um, um, making food for someone else was a big step. I think when I lived by myself and um, sort of was cooking for myself, I just was eating complete crap and not taking breaks and not having breakfast and basically doing all the uh, um, uh, uh, things that uh, a lot of people in their, their 20s do. Um, and uh, so I think sort of making sure I stop and having a sort of regular meal times and actually sort of like organize a meal um, helped a lot in, in that respect. In terms of sort of uh, exercise and, and, and sort of um, staying active, I think I have a pretty active life anyway. So it's not a, a, a huge concern for me, but I am um, a type one diabetic, which sort of um, um, introduced a whole nother cast of, of, of um, difficulties of that kind of thing. So I'm trying to get into going for more regular jogs and stuff like that to, to break up work. And it is a really good way of sort of resetting. Um, and, and I find I, I always work better after I've taken that, that kind of break. So it is really important. Um, uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't have a um, any sort of killer advice for, for, for that kind of thing. I think just sort of having some sort of actual schedule that you stick to um, um, and so, so you sort of say like now is lunchtime, I'm getting up and getting away from the computer and, and taking the, the, the time that I need. And a, a big part of that, that I've sort of learned over time is, um, getting the scheduling right at the start of a job. I think when I was, uh, a, uh, a younger illustrator, um, or just starting out, I was very much in the sort of survival mode of whatever you say, whatever timeline you've got, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, and you end up sort of putting yourself in a situation where you're not sleeping and not taking care of yourself and all that sort of thing. And most people don't mind if you just sort of um, um, make the effort to say like, this is the amount of time that I need to get your job done and also be a human being and mm. take care of myself. So, so that, that's been a sort of um, hard learned lesson over time, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And let us know chat as well. Like what, what do you, what do you do? Um, yeah, interesting yeah I, like... I could, I could use your advice. So, um, put it in there. All right. We've got a horrified, uh, piece of newspaper. Um, <laughs> Poor newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a rough realization. I'm glad I've never woken up like that. Um, <laughs> um okay. Okay. Mallory tuning in from Philadelphia. Lovely to have you. Philly. It's awesome. 
Um, there was a question. There was a suggestion earlier. Um, a gunslinging panda trying. Oh to, yeah. Trying trying to eat bamboo, that is resisting becoming its dinner. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I'll say it again. Okay. Mm. <laughs> a gunslinging mm -hmm. panda mm -hmm. who is yeah. trying to eat bamboo. Yeah. That is resisting becoming his dinner. Okay, so he's got to be eating the bamboo, but the bamboo's got to be resisting, but he's gunslinging. So he's got to be, I suppose, threatening the piece of bamboo with his guns mm. somehow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a tricky compositional setup you've got there. There's a lot um, going on. Gunslinging bamboo, yeah. trying to eat bamboo that is resisting becoming his dinner. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. So I think, I, I, yeah, for... For someone to be held up at gunpoint to be eaten is, is quite a violent scene. So mm. uh, maybe I'll just try and talk 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 you through my thought process here. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I don't want it to be like a hold up kind of situation. It might be right. a bit scary. So I want I want the panda to have some kind of distance from a, a bamboo tree. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, maybe the we'll have a, a, a panda over over this side. Um, and he's a gunslinger, so I've got to give him a bit of a gunslinger pose. Um, and maybe we can have a bamboo tree largely over here. Um, and maybe uh, a pan just has uh, a piece of the bamboo in its mouth. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to try and remember what a panda looks like. Um, give him a nice hat. Um, I can't remember. Is the, is the panda the panda's eyes are black and its face is white? Correct. Ooh. I think I always I always get it the wrong way around. Um, but he's got his piece of bamboo yeah. here. You are right. It's a bit like the zebra thing. And, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I think they've got their cute little white face, and then the. The rest of them is 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 black black fur again. Um, uh, and we'll give him a nice big belt and some old pistols in said belt. Oh, maybe maybe we can make this even. Maybe the. Uh, Maybe the bamboo is a gunslinging bamboo as well. It's interesting you should say that because, yeah, a suggestion in, in chat, maybe they're having a standoff. Yeah, yeah, okay. That, that feels a bit more even. Um. Um, Mallory's asking, I joined late. What tablet are you using? It's a Cintiq 22-inch, I believe. Yep, that's, that's the one. Yeah. There we go. Face is white and eyes are black. R&B, that's right. Yeah, I always, I always get there with the zebra because the zebra's... Yeah. White with no black with white stripes, I think. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, it's, it's very confusing. <laughs> I love like guessing stuff on the stream. I'm sure chat will correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always, I always feel sorry for podcasters who do do those long podcasts and get in trouble for sort of saying the wrong thing. It's like I don't know if you if you fact checked, um, sort of I don't know me talking for five minutes. I'm sure I'd be a complete disaster as well. Mm. Well, the good thing about podcasting is, unless you're doing it live, you can always go back and edit. True, sure, true. Sure. There's no editing a stream. <laughs> Have you got hey, anyone? Uh, I'm just, not sure if you're... Uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say to chat, uh, to, for the new people joining us, um, jump over to behance.net slash live and uh, you can throw in your suggestions. Um, the theme is everything is alive. So whatever you can think of, whatever crazy idea you have, um, we're, we're accepting all takers at the moment. And there's been some pretty crazy ideas. I might wake yeah, up. Well, I might wake up at, um, screaming, uh, thinking I'm in newspaper, <laughs> trying to escape from a birdcage tomorrow morning. So I appreciate that suggestion. Um, <laughs> yeah, jump in, jump in. We're here for about another, a little bit over half an hour, like about another five okay. minutes, I think. So yeah. Oh wow! Okay, cool, cool. So I've got uh, uh, a bamboo plant here, uh, having a bit of a face-off with um, uh, a panda. I haven't quite got right, but uh, I don't know. I thought I've watched enough Kung Fu Panda to get this, but 
Oh well. Um, oh, he hasn't got any eyes. Cool. Okay, right, I'm gonna need some more canvas. Let's let's just do a quick recap um, so far. So Great we've idea. got um, pile of rocks resisting being kicked over. Mouse on cheese dot com. Um, we've got a grumpy cup of coffee. We've got a running bedstead. We've got a sprout struggling to get out of the ground. We've got a flamethrower flame throwing a alien barbecue. We've got two batteries charging a flashlight. Um, I think that might be my favorite. A, the two batteries for charging the flashlight. It's yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty fun. Um, and yeah, good, good. Uh, I'm very much encouraging puns in the um, in the the, the, the chat. Um, always helps. Mm. Um, we've got a webcam watching TV. We've got a sponge foaming at the mouth with its best friend dishwashing liquid. We've got a, um, a stand mixer getting dizzy to mixing too much. We've got a worm kung fu kicking um, a gardener in the face. And ready for more. So, so send them over. Hmm. All right. Um, an igloo preventing a penguin from going inside. An igloo preventing a penguin from going inside. Um, okay, cool. I'm just trying to think, like, uh, um, why why doesn't the igloo want the penguin to go inside? Um, <laughs> I love that, like, like thinking more about the story of what's going on there rather than just the literal thing. Is that something that you d you do a lot? You kind of very quickly started thinking about that. Yeah, it, I think I think it's a like a it's a it's a um, like the. I don't know. I feel like I want some um, some reason for for. I think like um, after doing a sort of painful process with doing any sort of cartoons or trying to come up with comics, is drawing comics that nobody gets whatsoever because you thought it was hilarious in your head, but right. the, the translation was never there. So I, I try and sort of uh, get to a place where I'm like, is this comic going to make sense, or is this a funny idea outside of my brain? Um, and then sometimes you have to do a bit of sort of explainer work to, so, so, so having something that justifies the, the, the funny thing sometimes helps. Festus is saying, what's the igloo's motivation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm the annoying actor. I gotta feel it, man. Why, why is it happening? <laughs> That's great. Um, maybe, maybe, um, he's making some, uh, um, exciting stir fry in a saucepan that's on fire. Ah, I like it. Because it's more of like, it, it, there's no it, there's no evil intent here from the penguins part, which is cool. Because I get to continue yeah. to think the penguins are just really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit goofy. There was an original suggestion that you had about a duck, Flynn, and I know you're crazy about the ducks. Um, um, in your description, what was what was that that you put in the uh, the description know, for the live I, stream? You know, it was a while ago now, and I can't remember. Let me see what I put. On the actual live stream, what, what kind uh, 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 or a pillow that kind of looks like a duck? You know what? It may have been a Friday night when I was writing the description for that. It's okay. It reminds me of like. Um, have you seen those um, amazing things that people do at hotels where the, um, the the room service people like mold a towel into a swan or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it kind of reminds me of those things. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> okay, we've got a deep blue. I'm happy about this penguin. Penguin's pretty cool. <laughs> Love the little like casual, uh -huh. casual kind of walk, like the the, the waddle, but he's, you know, it's just so I can yeah. see him whistling yeah, yeah. at the same time. Like it's just such a <laughs> cartoonish kind of. You're getting some, what was it, Pingu? Pingu, but, um, oh, man. Pingu's so good. So Any good. Pingu fans in the chat. <laughs> um, uh, all right, so we were doing a pillow duck. Huh, okay, that's, a, that's actually a tricky one because Duck's got a really specific shape, but you got to kind of. Um, I just don't want to end up just drawing it. Ah, oh, that's actually really tricky because you can do sort of just like like a floppy duck, but. Mm, no. Nah. Hmm. 
There's <laughs> a couple of questions about your brush again. So maybe some people that have joined uh, may have missed For sure. comments about the brush. So maybe you could explain that again. Uh, yeah, so the brush I'm using is um, it's from the Inkset, um, which is one of the KLT Webster brushes. It's a free pack of brushes you can get from uh, Adobe if you've got a subscription. And um, uh, KLT Webster is kind of the guru of, of Adobe brushes. Um, and uh, yeah, this is one of the nice scratchy um, uh, ink brushes he has. Um, I gotta say, I'm struggling with this, Flynn. I don't, I don't really know. Like a pillow's kind of got to be one sort of unified shape, but you kind of got to get the duckiness into it as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could put a seam down the side or something. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's leave that, and I'll get myself a bit more canvas here. Okay. Um, Trust me to come um, up with the the one like stupid combination that, just, <laughs> that doesn't work out. The poorly thought gotta, out. Gotta, yeah, yeah. We we're gonna do more live streams, but I just broke Bill. He can't draw anymore. Yeah. Um. <laughs> He's gonna like throw throw your egg on pen in the in the air and like storm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you figure I it out, can't... Flynn. If you want like a crazy <laughs> duck duck picture, do it you do it your damn self. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do. I know this doesn't look anything like you, Flynn, but I'll I'll do you and sing on a on a duck. Nice. So you're using a duck as a pillow. Thank you. I like it. Looks exactly like me. I'm so young there. Yeah. yeah. You look great. No wrinkles. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Incredible. Well, something about a capybara being afraid of water popping up in the chat. It's been a lot of questions. Um, I mean, so a lot oh, of suggestions. Really? A lot of suggestions, okay. actually. Um, I can't see that one in front of me right now. Titanic putting on a huge life jacket. That's good. Maybe oh, it's yep. a collection of pillows. Thank you, Joanna. That's a very good idea. Um, uh, Festus coming through with all the good ideas. A sexy alligator dancing from Ellie Zappa. Wow, Ellie. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, that's... That's good. I'm just wondering how to how to do a a, a, a sexy alligator dance. This is this is yet again, Bill, where your the the reason that you don't watch TV is coming back to bite you because my mind immediately goes to um, sexy Flanders dancing, um, which is yeah. you may, have, you may yeah. have even seen it as a meme, um, but that's exactly where my mind goes. The alligator dancing. Just makes me think of like the client being like, "Can you make it sexier, like by ten <laughs> percent?" Not even a joke, Flynn. Has happened plenty of times before. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to go for full. I'm just going to go for a, um, a sort of coquettish uh, uh, alligator here. Um, uh, I don't know. Do you remember that movie Zootopia? Yes. Um, yeah, there was this there was this one tiger that was dancing in the movie, and it sort of became a meme online that everyone thought this tiger was really sexy, and then it just became really weird. There was all this just like sexy anthropomorphized animal. I don't know. It went too far. Too far, oh, folks. Yeah. It's the dark yeah. side of the dark side of the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So maybe we've just got, um, I don't know. It's been a while since I went out dancing, folks. I'm just drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a perfect time on the lockdown. <laughs> um, there um, was a question sort of outside of our sketching mucking around today. Um, what are your top suggestions uh, to developing your skills as an illustrator? Question from Chloe in the chat. Um, thank you, Chloe. Um, yeah, I kind of have some pretty sort of, uh, go to ad ad advice for people. My, my, my main thing is, um, the things I found most beneficial, um, is, um, I can't say it's a piece of advice cause it's kind of something I, I, as, that is, I feel like I didn't put any effort into that just kind of came naturally to me and that's 
just wanting to draw all the time. I just draw a lot. Um, and if that's something that you want to do all the time, that's, that's great. That's half the battle, wanting to draw all the time. Um, um, and if you don't have that inclination to want to draw all the time, uh, there are ways to sort of force yourself to make it interesting. And I think sort of spending time on finding like what, what the drawings that you really enjoy are or um, drawings that you love doing or ways of drawing that, that, that make it fun for you. Um, because like spending time on developing technique and everything is, is important and there is hard work there. But if you're not going to have find a way to um, make yourself like repetition and practice is just everything. Um, so if you can find a way to love doing it, um, uh, then that's that's always going to be much more worthwhile than the best course you could do or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So finding a way to just do it all the time is my main piece of advice. And the second thing I would say is just go to life drawing classes. I know it's tricky right now um, with the, um, the virus, but life drawing um, has just been... Um, very, very helpful to me in, in doing all kinds of things. And even with, with drawing like silly cartoony drawing that I'm doing like this, um, there is something about, um, like I, I know so it's, it's like taking this as a, like it's a very quick sketch, but there is something about like, I've done lots of life drawing and just a, the idea of like, there being like a central line of balance in a character or something like that. Even though it's just a couple of quick lines, getting that sort of traditional knowledge of how a body stands, um, and moves is so important to all kinds of drawing. So I think finding a way to do it all the time and life drawing are my main two pieces of advice. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. And would you, if, if you're just sort of starting out, like would you recommend people look at other illustrators and kind of try to emulate their style, like as practice, like obviously not trying to copy someone's style to, to and pass it off as your own, but just in terms of, um, of practicing and, and trying to, yeah. uh, and I'm not talking about tracing work, but like, would it be like looking at your your work here and, and and trying to imagine how they could recreate it? Like, is that something you would do? Oh, or steer clear of that. Absolutely. Or? Yeah. No. No. Definitely. Definitely do that because um, um, I mean we live in such a image uh, sort of um, illustration saturated world. Um, uh, you kind of got to lead into it at some point and sort of um, uh, uh, um, you can't be sort of a an island in a creative world. So looking at other people's work and copying people's work when you're starting out. Um, is great and I and I, I still do that now there's definitely a way to sort of be inspired by people's work and not be stealing from them so um, often I will find someone's style like I, I had my Instagram up before where um, there was a, a couple of pictures so I mean like uh, I did this uh, drawing of uh, Obelix from Asterix and Obelix um, and I spent ages doing sort of um, Asterix and Obelix drawings when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And that was it was really, really helpful. And even today, like um, uh, if I'm doing a drawing like, um, uh, what's a good example? Um, something like uh, uh, this little animation. I'm definitely looking at other people's styles, not a natural style that I draw in, but I feel like I've done it in a way that's made it my own. And right. I learned a lot through that process. So you kind of know when you're, when you're stealing from someone or trying to sell their work as your own. So just, just as long as you feel like you have integrity in, in what you're doing, um, I'm, I'm sure it will be fine. And it's, you learn so much. It's really worth doing. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, no worries, Chloe. Um, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Um, okay. Any other bright ideas? I can make some work on here. Okay. The, the trick is, the trick is picking which one. Um, sure. There was one I quite like. Richard uh, suggested drawing pins, which is a very short two-word suggestion, but it's kind of nice, like the idea of drawing pins. Yeah, yeah. There's just um, not a lot going on with a pin. They, yes, I mean, I, I suppose. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that, that's that, that's workable. Um, <laughs> I have some 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 pins here, and we'll just have um, some happy pins drawing together. Still like an artist is um, something that's coming up in chat quite a bit, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I, I mean, I feel like I should say, um, um, with with all that in mind, um, um, definitely sort of try and be developing your own thing and use other people's work as a sort of plus add on to what you're already doing. Mm. Um, so, so having a strong practice of your own um, um, is, is, is really important and, and using other people's work as inspiration rather than I make work like so-and-so. Um, yeah. Okay. I've got one, um, yeah. A child using the Sydney Opera House as a sailing boat. Sydney Opera House is a sailing boat. Right, right, right. right. Um, yeah. It's that's... very, very Australian. Um, mm. so yeah, a child using the Sydney Opera House as a sailing boat. So f for those that don't know, the, the Sydney Opera House is yeah, designed to reflect um, boat sails. It's a cute little house. I do like the Sydney Opera House. Got a fun fact about the Sydney Opera House. I actually played piano in the Sydney Opera House once. Really? What were mm -hmm. you playing piano in? As part of like a youth orchestra or something? Or? Yeah. No. It's it's it sounds really good if I just leave the story there. Um, but yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, but it was Little Bumblebee, and it was like a first year thing. But I remember my parents like um, bragging about it for many many years until I think I was in high school. And I'm like, I think you guys are going to have to drop this because it was about 30 <laughs> seconds, and every kid in our piano class got to do it. <laughs> I, my, oh, my, I think my great. mom still brags about it to this day. Yeah, that's, that's her job. That's great. <laughs> oh, it should be sailing. It's like a, a, a wrong boat. Huh. That's very tricky. Um... <laughs> Okay, well we've got the, we've got the kid there. Um, be a rudder. Let's move him to, yeah, yeah, into yeah, a yeah, rudder. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Um, how to make it a, 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 a sail? Though I suppose it could have. Um, Like a, a kind of a, oh, of a mast here. Um, and it could be. I don't know how boats work. My 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 dad's a big boat guy, um, so he would be horrified seeing this. But um, <laughs> surprisingly tricky, actually. It's got the shape. It's got the shape of a um, um, uh, of a, uh, of a sail. But I don't, it's not many boats that have that many sails. It's kind of a bunch of sails stuck together. Um, Oh, well, I can't win them all. Okay, that's, that's the best I can do for that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Taking the Opera House for a spin. Yeah, as we do. Yeah, yeah. We do it all the time. It's when there isn't a Classic kangaroo Australian around behavior. to ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool, there was cool. a suggestion before, which I thought was really cool. Um, where do we go? Um, some not on fire yet. Wood trying to escape from a campfire. Some not on fire... I have kind of the, I, I think that this is this is a painful one for me because we've, we've moved into this new house and it's got a cute little fireplace and the cute little fireplace is just the most inefficient thing in the world. It will, it, the wood in it refuses to burn. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I don't know. I, I tried someone else's fireplace and it's not me. It's it's, it's something to do with it just, um, yeah, not wanting to, to do the job. Um I mean, it gets going eventually. It just takes a really long time to heat up. I think it just doesn't have the... Um, I don't know. It needs to sort of get to some sort of critical heat mass before it gets going. There's been some great suggestions today, everyone.
everybody. Yeah, thank you everyone so much for, for putting out all this stuff in the chat. It's, uh, it makes it really fun. <laughs> um. If it was just me, it'd just be all ducks. <laughs> no one wants okay. that except for me. God, this reminds me a little bit of that. Um, um, did you ever see that? Oh, God, it was a weird movie. Um, it was called. Uh, it was a Seth Rogen animated movie called Sausage Party. Uh, you know um, what? I've been about... trying. I've been trying the last two times we've done this. I, I've thought of Sausage Party references, but it's such a <laughs> it's such an awfully like R rated film that I thought it. Might... Yeah, sorry, sorry, kids. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tune into that. Anyway, but, you won't Google it, but yes, I, I have I have seen it, and it has its moments. Right. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Of, uh, terrified anthropomorphic things. Yeah. Oh, I need to be I need to get my um sort of creeping legs a bit better. We've got about 15, 20 minutes left. So um, last chance for, you know, around the last kind of chance for suggestions. There's definitely uh, more than we need. I'll try and scroll up and have a look at some of the ones that we may have missed. Um, we get them in. And um, as Bill said before, if you do have other questions around il illustration or, or drawing or freelancing, um, your career, yeah, yeah, anything, anything you want to chat about. about um, a small amount of time. I've got nothing off the top of my head. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, if anyone has any sort of general career -y, worky questions of any kind, feel free to drop those in as well. Um, uh, Festus has just put in the chat that I should check the flu. I've had it cleaned, got a new baffle plate and everything. Um, oh, wow. Still, still not doing its thing, yeah. Um, cool, any other suggestions, Flynn, that I can, I can start working on? Um, there was a lily pad struggling to get a duck off it. <laughs> lily pad struggling to get a duck off it. Um, okay, cool, cool. Um, thanks, thanks, Festus. I appreciate the support. What do you do if you have a have a fireplace that, that just won't work? Like, is there a fly, fireplace like guy? Like, is there like who do you call? Yeah, like a plumber. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, no, you get it. You get there. There's lots of people. I mean, in the mountains, everyone's got a fire. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people have fireplaces. So there are um, uh, chimney chimney sweeps, I suppose, who are all disappointingly not Victorian boys with ah. those sticks. They don't know, break into things. song. <laughs> no, 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 they don't. It's a, it's a real letdown every time they come around. <laughs> um, but they, they, they can come uh, help out with your, your fireplace issues. Um, I, I think there's... there's there's nothing really wrong with the fireplace. It's just small. It just doesn't generate a lot of heat. Mm. Or I just need small logs or something. Mm. Um, just have a, uh, a little sleep duck here. Oh, yeah. Cool duck. Maybe you can have a little sleeping hat on. Oh yeah, like a little Scrooge McDuck um, <laughs> yeah. sleepy hat. <laughs> cool. I love it. What are people doing in chat? Are people sort of working or just just watching? I had a few of the the Adobe ones on in the background. They are fun to listen to while you're you're working. Working away. It's a good question. Second screening, triple screening, quadruple screening. Mm. I like watching the streams so the, when I'm like doing some like very manual stuff. Like I think someone was chatting at the very beginning. They were like editing some photos um, as they were going. Oh, through. right. Cool, That's cool. Something. So that the, um, the, the, the new iPhone updates are including sort of picture in picture. So you can be 
watching TV while texting or on Instagram, which just feels like another level of second screening <laughs> on your way. tiny, tiny screen. <laughs> yeah. So true. I'm sure we'll, we'll all be doing it soon enough. Um, there was one suggestion around an, an illustrator battling with his characters jumping off the page. Oh, wow. That reminds me of, um, there was an animation that was popular sort of in vintage YouTube era um, called uh, Animator vs. Animation. Have you ever seen that, Flynn? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's, it's great. It's, it's someone who's made... Um, it's like he's animating some stick figures in Flash and the whole animation is like the user on the desktop battling the stick figures start fighting back. Um, oh, and cool. um, it's it's really well done, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it sort of uses all, he's sort of picking up tools from the icon menu in Flash and fighting people with like the marquee tool and the lasso tool and stuff like that or trying to erase them or smudge uh, them out. And is it quite that. old? I think I may have seen yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's been a couple of recent updates to it, but... Mm -hmm. um, but uh, um, yeah, that no, was a long, long time ago. Okay, first came out. Um, okay, Illustrator battling, battling drawings. This is a more, this is a more complex. There's a lot going on on this one. Yeah, yeah. A lot to do. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us today, guys. I'll take the moment to um, yeah say thank you. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're having a good week. Um, yeah, and um, and also just do a bit of a shout out for our Discord. So if you want to hang out with us outside of when we're live, when we're streaming, uh, we have our own Discord server. You can jump over there. I'm sure, Johanna will share a link in the chat, and I think there's probably a link to the invite um, at the bottom of this video on Behance, just with the text that is talking about this today's session. And also, you can go to if you're watching this on YouTube on demand. There's probably a link down. There should be, if I've done my things correctly, should be a link down the bottom as well, which you can jump into our Discord and just kind of hang out with us. And um, there's been a lot of people sharing work and we're talking about upcoming streams and just kind of hanging out. So join us in there. Um, to be sort of completely out of touch, uh, Flynn, but I imagine there may be some people in the same situation. What yeah. actually is Discord? That's a really, good, that's a really good question. I actually <laughs> spoke about it yesterday when we were, we were having it. Johanna and I had a quick little stream where we were chatting about it yeah so um yeah my first introduction discord is basically like slack like if you've used slack just like a chat yeah much much more like um co not complex but much more going on than like a regular chat so you can have little little rooms you can start different rooms for different topics and you can follow there's like public um discord groups there's like private ones um but if mm. you've ever used slack it's pretty similar so that's the that's the easy kind of crossover um we've right. only just started our our um, Discord server, so it's pretty fresh. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. But yeah, I used to use it. I mean, I think it got super popular through gaming. We used to use it back right. in the day before a lot of games had like integrated voice chat within the games. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can do voice chat in there and all sorts of stuff. But yeah. So if you're new, join us because we're new too. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> R&B saying, Discord is a fancier version of chat. <laughs> right. Cool, cool. Discord link didn't work. Right. Yeah, sometimes they run out. Um, so hopefully this one that Johanna shared will be up to date. Discord is a nice place from Camilla. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's some pretty good ones. I've joined a couple since since we started doing ours as well, um, which is helping me fix my gaming addiction, which I cannot fuel at the moment because there's too much work going on. Okay, good, good. Um, what's been your poison of choice recently, Flynn? Oh, I'm just basically not playing anything at the moment. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, just been kind of jumping yeah. in and pretending um, yeah. that I'm Oh, right, you I'm can kind of games. get that sort of the... Uh, uh, a bit of the a taster of uh, a whiff of gaming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know it's still yeah. going on. It's still going to be there if I ever get back there. But, um, but you know, sometimes yeah, yeah. sometimes life and responsibilities get in the way of what you might want to might want to do. And gaming is definitely something that's like a rabbit hole. Like once you get involved sure. in a new sure. 
as we were talking about with worms, call back to our previous conversation. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be super, super addictive and time consuming. So no time for that right now. Absolutely. Um, okay, should we have one one last one before signing off? Yeah, I think so. Um, so many questions, so many, so many suggestions through. Um, the digital tablet that's afraid of being drawn on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. Will that take us out? Uh, for sure. Okay. Um, okay. Let's start off with a. Um, saying um, Discord is Skype on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it depends on like what group you're in, right? Like as long as there's something relevant to your interests. Maybe there's a, um, a fireplace Discord server that you could join. Ah, I hope so. Get some help. Yeah. I think we want fireplace updates actually, like next week. Let's see how you go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. You yeah, might I mean, we, like we right had at the end of winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I just think I fixed it and it's just got warmer. Yeah. Kim's saying thanks for the stream. It was really fun. Yeah, that's awesome, Kim. I'm glad you had a good time. Cool. Cool. Thanks so much for for tuning in. It's been really fun. And what's next? What's next for you? What's what's going on at the moment? Do you have a lot of work on? Are, are you? What's your situation? Ooh. I think I know the answer to that. Um, yes, yes, um, yeah. Situation right now is yeah, really busy, which is which has been uh, which has been great. I've got a bunch of uh, publishing projects going on, which are keeping me very very busy, um, and uh, a couple of storyboard jobs, and, and um, yeah, all all sorts of different interesting projects going on right now. So. Um, uh, yeah, keeping keeping very busy, um, which has been it's been good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been really good. But uh, it's kind of nice to um, do sketching like this, where I can kind of zone out, and it's just sort of free for all, loose sketching. Uh, it's not yeah. quite as prescriptive, but in some ways, it's a, um, a lovingly demanding audience on on the um, on the Adobe live streams, which I'm I'm a big fan. Of. Like. Yeah, oh, it's always a great um, chat. Yeah, and such, yeah, such great yeah. questions, uh, questions and suggestions and everything like that. Um, there's yeah, been a fantastic too many challenge. Yeah, sorry. I was mm -hmm. just going to say, there's been too many um, sort of mentions in the chat of people loving loving your work, really enjoying your work style. And thank you so much, everyone. Stuff. Thank you. Um, which is which is super cool. Which is super cool. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we're back. Maybe we can give a preview. Give everyone a preview of what we're doing next week. So we're back next week, same time. Same bat channel, yes. um, which is 8.30 um, Sydney time. Could be, who knows what time it is, um, but where, wherever you are in the world, but about an hour and a half ago in a week, we're back. Um, yeah, and can you recall which theme we're doing, Flynn? Um, I can. I need a minute. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Um, so we'll be back um, doing uh, similar kind of sketching uh, along the lines. Board. I think it's all but aboard. we've got a new theme which is going to be all aboard and the idea with that is i'm going to draw some kind of transport i can't i'm not quite sure if it's going to be a boat or a bus or a dinosaur or anything and basically we're going to populate um populate whatever the piece of transport is uh with uh people and characters so it might be we might end up with 60 people in a canoe or something like that so we're going to be sort of filling up one big piece of transport into I don't know, a bunch of people going somewhere. So um, I'm really looking forward to that one. So hopefully people can tune in then. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, thanks again, chat. Um, thank you, Bill. And no uh, hey, everybody, we will uh, see you. We're actually back tomorrow um, uh, with um, Lillian as well, um, also from Jackie Winter Group, Funny, funnily enough, um, which is going to be a fantastic stream. And so we hope to see you all tomorrow. And Bill, hey, we'll see you.
next week. Fantastic. I'll see you all then. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, everyone. See you later. See you later.